All right, so I guess I'm gonna play some chess. I'm playing on LeeChess.org, and I'm gonna play some 10 plus five rapid games because I don't like being in too much of a hurry. The five is the uh, five seconds extra per move, if you don't know, then 10 minutes for the game. All right, cool, let's do it. So I'm playing white, hit him with the surprise move, E4. That's a shocker. I usually play the Vienna when I play with white. We're playing against Abrinez123. And I'm rated 1544, pretty similar in rating. Cool. You can also draw arrows and stuff, but I usually don't do that because I usually play on a laptop and I'm not used to playing with a mouse. Um, honestly, I already forget what to do, but <laughs> I think you can go like, uh, yeah, queen here maybe? That seems like a good move, because normally this pawn is, or that bishop is protecting that square, but this seems like a pretty good move. Attacking this pawn. How do you draw this arrows, circle things? There we go, there's the circle. In case you can't see very well. <laughs> I don't know. All right, they're taking a second to think about it. They might just play pawn up. Okay, they're going queen there. That is an interesting move. Um, I think we could play just knight here. That seems like it'd work. Or we could push the pawn. I guess I should draw arrows for everything, huh? I'm thinking we'll just go knight. And hopefully this works. And then I have no idea what they're gonna do. They could like do something crazy and sacrifice the bishop. Anyway, as far as chess, I actually, I started playing when I was a kid. I think a lot of people did, but then I took like a huge break and didn't play for many years. And now I'm getting back into it. I watched Pog Champs 3 and that was a lot of fun to watch. Oh, your opponent has left the game. You claim victory in 60 seconds. Oh no, they're back. Okay, cool. And they play that move. So now, obviously, this bishop is attacking my queen. So... What do I do? I could just trade queens maybe, go here. I could also attack their queen with this move. Is that good though? Or maybe we just go queen here? I don't know. If I trade queens, does that give me like any advantage? I don't know. We'll just go like here. Seems like a safe play. And then we'll probably push this pawn so we can get this bishop activated or castle. You can always castle. Do that thing. Very fancy move. Only for experts, obviously. No. <laughs> I wonder who came up with that rule. Just like castling. Let's move the rook over just this one time because it looks cool and, you know, it helps out the game. And they left the game again. Nice. They're going to keep doing this, aren't they? I guess it just gives me a time on advantage. Time on advantage? Advantage on time is what I meant to say. Now what can we do next? I mean, knight here seems like a good move. Obviously attacks the queen, and there's the potential for a fork right there. So I think that's our next move, actually, unless they do something crazy. Ooh, what if they go here, though? Because I cannot take a risk of getting... Uh, that's not mate, but it seems like it would be bad. I mean, this pawn is actually, it's not hanging, but could easily be taken, I think. They actually put their queen in a place where they want to put their knight normally, so they would have to develop here or here instead. Yeah, interesting move. I think this is fine. Actually, no, it's not, because they could just go here. And that's a fork. Um, so I think what we do is we just castle. Actually, they could still take. Mm, I didn't think this out well enough, I don't think. If they take, I still could go here and threaten their queen, because this is only a rook. Queen's worth nine, rook is worth five. But it's still a free pawn. Don't love it. Okay, we're gonna go here. So they gotta do something. Because their queen's under attack. 
And then I believe we can just move our rook here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now we can take this pawn, but first we just have to move our rook. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, now... I think what we want to do is actually this, because we threaten their queen, and their queen is protecting this fork. So if we can trade queens, that would be very helpful. I'm trying to think like a grandmaster here. Although I'm already down a pawn, so not exactly great. Actually, what if they just do like knight here? I guess we could take. Okay. That makes sense. And now, obviously, this move is coming. I don't know what they do. They might just do king over. No, they would probably do rook over. Although it's still a pawn. Okay, they... What? They just moved back? It's not really... I guess they're threatening that? But this still works. That just lets us win this rook. And they resigned! Alright! Well, that was actually a pretty decent game. <laughs> we can go to the analysis board. This is actually a really cool tool. So you just turn this little engine on and it tells you all the best moves. I know chess.com also has a pretty similar thing, but it only lets you do it like once a day, unless if you pay for it. So this is just free all the time. So yep, they show the best move. Normally people do that, that's fine. Um, but this is the Vienna where you do this knight. And even though it's not attacked, you still protect it. Kind of mixes things up. And then bishop just developed there. Okay, yep, and actually we did find the best move. I think I learned this from Gotham Chess's video on the Vienna, so if they just mirror you, you go attack there. The best move is king there. That is very weird. Okay, so they just do queen there. Actually, we should have immediately gone knight there instead. Instead, I developed this. Wait, really? So if we go knight here, and the, yeah, they just take. And you can see they let you play this out, which is very cool. It looks really scary, but I guess it's actually not that bad for us. Which is very interesting. They would go king here. And then what? Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't seem like it's a great position, which is kind of weird. Okay. So just playing this out, I believe the queen gets trapped eventually, is what they're going for. I think Gotham also uh, covered that in this video, but yeah, that's not what we did. We went with this. Apparently we're actually down minus 0.9, so they're pretty much up like a pawn, even though they're technically not, it's just positionally. So they do that. Now we're even. Wow, this was actually the best move. I really did not know what to do, and I'm very glad that was the best move. Okay. So now the best move is to take, which I did not do. Ooh, why? What did I do? I castled. Wow! And look at that huge swing. If we had taken, okay. For some reason, we're up like a crap ton. I'm not really sure why. Wait, what? I guess we win a bishop if they do that. But why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just go like... They could go back, I guess? Maybe they go... They could go here? That doesn't seem very good. What if they just go like here? Okay, then we get the fork again. I see. Alright, so should have taken... And they should have taken there. Yeah, that actually would have been... Pretty good, because if they would taken there then I would have to take, and then they would take, and then our pawns are double up and our king's exposed, which is not pretty good, which is not good, which is not pretty good. Is that what I said? Okay, cool. Instead, they go for this weird pawn take, which actually lets us do this. Wait, what? They wanted to push the pawn. No idea why, but whatever. 
Okay, attack the queen, they go back. Now they want us to just take here. Why? So if we do that... Huh? Oh, and I guess they can't take because they lose their queen. That's like a super advanced strategy. Did not see that, obviously. Instead, I just moved the rook, which is six point difference. Wow. But that's just such an advanced tactic. Okay, they move that up, and then they think this is a mistake? How? They want there. Weird. Okay. I honestly thought this was a good strategy. It was like, let's trade queens, yeah. And they wanted that move. Okay, sure, whatever. Instead, we trade, which is what lets us do this. And then we just resign. Awesome. All right, I think we'll do one more game. Do a 10 plus five. Okay, here we go. And this time we're playing black. So with black, I play the Karo Khan. It's not seen super often. Okay, they just go for the push in the center. They'll probably take or push. Okay, they don't, so I'll take. Now, I think we do this. Just to develop the bishop, attack their knight, make them move it. Yeah, cool. Alright, and this is pretty much all I know. <laughs> I think we do knight out. Interesting. So I can't take because the queen protects? No, wait. I can take the knight also. I'm so confused. Let's just take. I guess they have to move their queen out. They resigned. What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. They lost a pawn and they resigned? Dude. Whatever. Alright, let's do one more. Because these games have been trash, man. Like, I'm not even that good at this game. I'm just getting super lucky with my opponents blundering early. Alright, here we go. 1600. Wow, this is a very high rank. I'm almost 1600 now. That is surprising to me. Let's hit him with the Karo Khan again. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be like the exact same. I think the best move is to push. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now let's develop a bishop. And then we're probably going to close this up. Um, yeah, that seems like a normal move. You don't want to do this beforehand because your bishop kind of gets trapped in here. Alright, let's go ahead and trade. I think this is theory, actually. This is kind of our bad bishop because all our pawns are in the white squares. Um, let's go ahead and develop a knight. Sure. So we can always do queen here for a check. Um, not really helpful, but it's usually nice to keep in mind. Okay. So... I'd like to develop this bishop, but I actually don't have anywhere to go. So let's just develop the knight. We can fianchetto if we just... Oops, wrong order, but yeah. Get the idea. It's not very good though, because their pawns are right there. Still, we gotta move our bishop somewhere. We might just go knight here. Seems like a decent spot, and then we can put our bishop there. Okay. So, if we wanted, actually, we could go queen here and attack this pawn. Maybe that's a good move? Sure, let's go for it. Maybe I should have done that the move earlier when they moved their bishop, actually. Because this was like one move too late. I don't know, they could just, again, do that. If they wanted, I guess they could do that. Or if they castle, I guess. They could castle queenside. Or kingside. They're like fully developed. I don't know, this doesn't seem like a great position. Okay. So I think we just kick this out. I don't see any reason why not. Go ahead and do that. 
if they wanted to get crazy, they could like sack here, and I would have to take with the king, and then they have some maybe crazy check tactics, but I don't know if that's a good idea. That would be pretty nutty. Okay, they actually did go for it, except they took this pawn? That is very weird. Okay. And they resign. Why are my opponents just blundering like crazy? This is totally undeserved. Okay, we can rematch, sure. This time we get to play with white, so let's do the Vienna again. I mean, I do know some other openings, but whenever I try them, for whatever reason, I just suck, and then I end up blundering. So I like to stick with what I know. And since I'm still pretty new, I've only been playing like maybe a month, or maybe a little more. You know, I just don't know that much, even though I've been really into it, really enjoying my time with chess. I feel like I've already improved a lot. Okay, what is this? What a strange... This seems like a gambit. Okay, honestly, I don't know what to do. But I'm thinking, I remember something, like d4 actually might be a good move here. If I take, what are they going to do? So typically they would do something like this so they can get the pawn back, so let's just do d4. This is probably going to confuse them or something. I don't know. I don't want to just fall into gambits, so... Okay, fair enough. I did not think this through at all. <laughs> Um, I was like, oh, we'll just take with the queen, but yeah, the knight protects that dummy, so we could go knight here or here. I don't really see any problem with doing this. Actually, wait a second, that pawn is hanging. But what we could do is we have this check. Okay, we no longer have that advantage. <laughs> I don't know why I did this, to be honest. Okay, so if we go here, I don't know, it seems like a good move. Yeah, let's go for it. So obviously we are threatening to take this. They might just push it forward, in which case we would take with the pawn, I believe. And then we're also double protected. If they move the bishop, then we can take this pawn. Obviously, these two center pawns are really strong, though, so I really messed up this opening. We'll see if we can kind of come back from it. And, you know, this fork is still an option if they move their queen out. Okay, that seems like a good move. I think we just take. Now they're probably going to take with the queen. Actually, they could take with the pawn. That would be a weird move, but... Yeah, okay, they take there, so they are threatening this. It's not a problem. I think we just take the pawn. Okay. Now, what do we do? That is the question. So, we can develop this bishop... Actually... We could go maybe here, threaten this pawn. Although I'm thinking we just develop our knight first. That way we can actually go here too, threaten the queen if we wanted. Oh, this bishop is hanging. There's no threat on it, I just, I should be aware of that. Now, they might just castle. They might play this, I don't know. We can castle as well. Uh, actually, having our queen in front of our king is a real problem sometimes, because you can get it pinned. Interesting. Okay. So, obviously, this is hanging, and they could take... If we go here, and then they just move... If we go here, they could go, like, here... I have no idea, actually, where they would go. They could go, like, here, 
Actually, yeah, that would probably be a good move. But, you know what? Let's just do it. Because if they do move the queen, then obviously we would win this. But we would lose this. Also, you know, we want a castle soon, too. I don't know. They, they obviously can't just take. Yeah, so they're going to go there. Now... Actually, what if we just take this pawn? That guards this bishop, and we're guarded. That would leave us open for a check. I don't know, it still seems good. If they do give us a check, we can actually go bishop back and just block, I think. Or even knight here, or bishop here. Wow, we actually have three blocks. Or a queen in four spots. Okay, so we have, you know, a few options. That felt good, though. Oh, wait. Okay, so they could take, we could take... Yeah, we'd be okay. Oh, wait a second. I didn't think this through. So, if we take, we actually have two pieces hanging. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. And do we... We could go here. We could sack. Okay. So, if we go here and we take, then we just lose a piece. If we go here, they would have to take... That would ruin their chances of castling, and then we would still lose two pieces. So yeah, we're just kind of screwed. So they have their choice of pieces they can take. I assume, actually, they would take this one. Okay, we do want a castle, but if we can get our rook to here, that would be great. Alright, so they're threatening this. Um, we just take, yeah, let's just take here. Okay, now I think we kick this knight out. We do have this check, does nothing, we have this check. Actually, that does give us a pawn. They could still go here, I guess. They'll probably just go back, though. Actually, they could go here. But I think knight here and then take this pawn seems okay. Actually, no, we should castle first, I think. Castling seems really good right now. Their king's in, like wide open, so even though we're down a piece, there's maybe a chance. This bishop has yet to be developed as well. Actually, if we go here, they could just move king here and we don't get the pawn. Yeah. Okay. So, I think we just castle now. And obviously rook here seems like a good move. If we wanted to, we can try to... Okay, is that just a mistake? Um, I guess they, yeah, they go there. Okay, the thing is, I feel like we have something here. If we go here, no, I mean, doesn't really do much. I mean, I think we still take, though. Then we just do rook over again, and then... I think we have to go knight here. That seems like the best move. Uh, yeah, because I don't know what else we would do. We can't go here or here. Oh, let's just go knight here. Mm -hmm. Now that I think of it, if we had done this, could have sacked... No. <laughs> yeah. It was a short-term plan. So, this is not good. Ah. Guess we go back. At least this frees up this square. I don't really know what we're gonna do, honestly. The only thing we can do is just push and hope for... Do we push with our king pawns or queen pawns? I don't know. We could do a rook lift, actually. I think that's what we're gonna do. So if we go here, it's a check, but you know, we can get back rank mated. We don't really wanna trade, though. I mean, we're kinda just screwed. We do go here. I don't know, I'm sure we'll just go here. Actually, what we could do is actually king here. Because then they can't back rain mate us. 
This is just a losing end game though. I don't think, I have no idea how we would win this. We just lost a piece during that exchange. I should say we, that way, you know, I can share the blame with some other people. I don't know. This move sucks now, and we can't go here, or here, or here, so our knight is just awful. I guess we'd have to reroute it to like, yeah, there. Seems pretty terrible, but I don't know what else we're gonna do, so, I mean, actually we could do this maybe. Okay, so I think we just go back here. So I guess we have to do this. I mean, we can't move the knight because it's pinning us, obviously. And I mean, you could go like rook here. Nah, we can't trade pieces at this point. If they wanted to, they could just sacrifice a bishop for two pawns. And they would probably still be way winning in the end game, yeah. So, at this point, I guess we just have to trade. I don't see any other move. Oh, also, this pawn is hanging. Interesting. We just have to do it. I mean, maybe there's something in the analysis. Well, this kind of sucks. Yeah, they don't even want to trade. They're just going to take this pawn now. And I guess we have to just go king endgame. Oops. Um, what do we do? Go knight here, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it helps anything, though. The only chance we have is getting a pass pawn. I don't even know what we can do, honestly. This just seems losing. I guess we just push this pawn. Yeah, um... Actually, what we should have done, we should have gone there. <laughs> now that I look at it. It just feels like we're losing, though. They could just push. At that point, I think we'd have to sack, yeah. This is just over. a bishop and a queen mate that is maybe somewhat tricky it's certainly not one that I've done very often if ever but as long as you actually think about every move that you're doing you probably won't stalemate I'm, they're really dragging this out they should just push the pawn dude I mean we could just resign honestly it's not really worth it at this point okay let's just resign okay let's go to the analysis this was honestly such a weird game, but okay. Let's see what we did wrong here. Okay, so first of all, we should have just played, we should have just defended the pawn. That makes sense. Instead, we went for something stupid. <laughs> and now, okay. So weirdly enough, even with these two pawns in the center, it says we're still even. Now it says we're down. Okay, back to almost even. It says we're way ahead. And now it wants us to castle. Okay, so it turns out taking this pawn was a giant mistake. Holy cow. Look at that. What is that? It's like 10 points at least. 11? So, yeah. This left us in a terrible position because this knight was defending that and obviously... If we have two pieces hanging, we're screwed, so we should have just castled. Wait, yeah, but then, what? We just lose a piece? They want this? Um, way too difficult to see, honestly. Trying to, just hanging a piece seems like such a hard thing to do on purpose, but this was terrible, this is terrible. Okay, they wanted a queenside castle. So we traded, which wasn't really good when you're down. 
And then I think from here we're just kind of losing. Okay, so really it was one move. That's actually kind of crazy. This one move cost us the game. Okay, what if we had done something more reasonable, just like this? Actually, yeah. Okay, so comparatively, we're not down five at least. They would, we'd had double, doubled pawns, but it's not a huge deal. And like the game is still winnable from here. It's very playable. So that's what we should have done. Instead, we got greedy, and I didn't notice that you know this knight would be overloaded. Anyway, that's it for this though. Uh, thanks for watching if you did. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do more of this. Maybe I won't. It depends if anyone's interested.